right, 2.7, prove angle pair relationships. Theorem 2.3, the right angles congruence theorem basically says that all right angles are congruent. Sounds pretty obvious, but there's actually a theorem that says that. Okay, so for example, if we're given that JK is perpendicular to KL and ML is perpendicular to KL, we need to prove that angle K is congruent to angle L. Here's the given. If these lines are perpendicular, that means that angle K and angle L are right angles. That's the definition of perpendicular lines. And if they're both right angles, then they must be congruent. Right angles, congruence theorem. <coughs> okay, the congruence supplements theorem. If two angles are supplementary to the same angle or to congruent angles, then they are congruent. So if angle one and angle two are supplementary, and angle three and angle two are supplementary, then angle one has to be congruent to angle three. So for example, if you have some angle, we'll say it's 60 degrees. Remember, supplementary means that the two angles add up to 180. So in order for these two angles to be supplementary, if this is 60 degrees, this has to be 120 degrees. If you have another angle that is also supplementary to this angle, well, this angle has to be 120 degrees also, otherwise they won't add up to 180. So if these two angles are both supplementary to the same angle, these two angles have to be congruent. They have to be the same measure. That's the only way it works. The same thing works, the, the same thing is true when you have uh, complementary angles. If two angles are complementary to the same angle or to, to congruent angles, then they are congruent. So if angle 4 and angle 5 are complementary and angle 6 and angle 5 are complementary, then angle 4 is congruent to angle 6. All right, let's go on to page 2. Write a proof. Angle 1 and 2 are supplements. Angle 1 and 4 are supplements. Angle 2 equals 45 degrees. We need to prove that angle 4 also equals 45 degrees. All right, first step is the given. Now, if angle 1 and 2 are supplements and angle 1 and 4 are supplements, then angle 2 has to be congruent to angle 4. That's the theorem that we just learned. Okay, that's the congruent supplements theorem. If they're congruent, then they also have to be equal. That's the uh, definition of congruent angles. We're given that angle 2 equals 45 degrees. But if angle 2 equals angle 4 and angle 2 equals 45 degrees, then angle 4 also has to equal 45 degrees. Um, two different things you could use to prove this. You could say substitution or you could say transitive property. Either one would work here. All right, I'll let you guys do the checkpoint. Let's go on to page three. <coughs> postulate 12, linear pair postulate. If two angles form a linear pair, then they are supplementary. Seems pretty obvious. Angle 1 and angle 2 form a linear pair, so angle 1 and angle 2 are supplementary, and they add up to 180. Okay? The vertical angles congruence theorem basically says the vertical, that vertical angles are congruent. So, let's use these in a proof. Angle 4 is a right angle. That's what we're given. We need to prove that angle 2 and angle 4 are supplementary. If angle 4 is a right angle, or I'm sorry, angle 4 is a right angle, that's given. That means that the measure of angle 4 is 90 degrees. Now, we know that angle 2 and angle 4 have to be congruent because vertical angles are congruent. You could say vertical angles are congruent or you could say vertical angles congruence theorem. Either way is fine. If they're congruent, that means they're equal in measure. That's the definition of congruent angles. Um, angle 2 
If angle, if angle 4 is 90 degrees and angle 2 and angle 4 are equal, then angle 2 also has to be 90 degrees. That's substitution property. You could also put transitive property if you wanted. Either one is fine. So, if they're both 90 degrees, then they're supplementary. Okay, and this is because 90 degrees plus 90 degrees is 180. Alright, I'll let you guys do the checkpoint. Let's go on to the last page. <clears throat> Write and solve an equation to find x. Alright, use x to find the measure of angle FKG. Because the measure, because the measure of angle FKG and the measure of angle GKH form a linear pair, the sum of their measures is 180 degrees. So, FKG, that's this angle, plus GKH, that's this angle, they're a linear pair, that means they're supplementary. They add up to 180. So I can take 4x minus 1 plus 113, and that has to equal 180. Alright, I'm going to combine like terms, negative 1 plus uh, 113, that's 112. I'm going to subtract 112 from each side. Um, 180 minus 112, that's 68. Now I'm going to divide each side by 4. You should get 17. Okay, so we know that x equals 17, but that's not the end of it. We need to use x to find the measure of angle FKG. That's this angle here. Basically, we just have to plug it in. I'm going to plug in 17 for x. <clears throat> 4 times 17 is 68. 68 minus 1, 67. So the measure of angle FKG is 67 degrees. Alright, and you guys can do this checkpoint. That's all for today.